WRL has learned St. Augustine's University is sending students home and classes are going virtual for the rest of the semester. We told you about the HBCU struggles to pay its bills and to keep its accreditation. Now several alumni groups are calling on the university's board of trustees to resign. WRL's Matt Talhelm is live outside the campus in Raleigh with these new developments. Matt. Yeah, Renee, we've learned that St. Augustine's will switch to virtual classes in April, and most students are being told to go home, to leave the campus here at that time. I am told by a faculty member that there may be some exceptions to that for student athletes, but those details are being worked out. Just within the last 10 minutes, I actually talked to a student here. He didn't want to go on camera, but he tells me that this was actually announced to students late last night in a meeting here at the gym. Also to the other members of the university campus, this was announced in a Teams meeting meeting to faculty members online. Now, the leaders of several groups, including the president of the SAU National Alumni Association, have signed on to a resolution. They are calling themselves the Save SAU Committee. It demands the resignation of the entire board of trustees, except the member who represents the Episcopal Church and the student trustee. It also calls for greater transparency and an investigation into how the university got into this financial crisis. Earlier this month, as we told you, interim president Marcus Burgess sat down with me for an interview. He told me the university is more than $20 million in debt. Here's what the co-founder of the Oakwood Falcon Foundation had to say about this in a statement about the resolution. He says, we will continue to support students, faculty, and staff. Those who created the issues, whether through intent or neglect, cannot be trusted to fix the problem. Our hope is the Board of Trustees will care enough about this incredible institution to step down given their past and current performance. Now, we have reached out to Interim President Marcus Burgess, as well as the university spokesman here, asking those questions about what will happen, how this is all going to move forward here, especially as these students head toward graduation. They have not replied to us yet. We'll continue to work on that. And at last check, according to a faculty member I talked to, pay is still several weeks behind. We know that these, these uh, faculty members, some of them have not been paid for more than a month at this point. This is also unbelievably disappointing for St. Augs students and faculty. Matt Tallhelm, live in Raleigh.